I am the happiest when I can be creative some way or another. Now teaching is a creative moment as well. And it is not teaching. Teaching is not teaching. Teaching is sharing. And you keep learning from them what you could have not given or what you don't know enough. So you keep growing by being an example for whoever are your followers, you know. What does it mean? <laughs> uh, I'm not really into finding meaning and explain everything because it really takes away the meaning from the meaning. The meaning, it is there, you feel it, you, you absorb it, you, you leave it. I am nature. It is, how do I explain? How can I know? How can I know? I cannot know what the secret of nature is. That is, in my opinion, um, uh, people just want to be interesting or when they try to explain everything, you know. There's no reason, but everything is self-explanatory. Yeah. Before it was explained, they have been there. Nature is there before it was explained. So, how do you define now? Uh, green is green, but before a name was given, it was what it was. That, you know, something, you know, it's St. Thomas. I've been sitting under a tree one day and in my thoughts, and then three girls passes by and come to me and said, Oh, are you a kind of a messenger of Jesus, or you are, or what? I don't know exactly what they asked, but in this way, and well, I said, I'm just sitting here and I'm immersed in my thoughts and uh, that is all there is to it. So anyhow, they leave. Uh, five minutes, not even five minutes passes by and the guy come and looks at me and, hey man, you look like shit. <laughs> so, what was that? Who perceives what is a... Is a mystery and it, it needs expression and the real motive of energy is is creativity um, you observe a little child a baby it moves all the time it moves now you can't tell me that he's doing that consciously it nature takes care nature moves itself through the baby energy is never static it is always in motion and it, it needs expression. And the real motive of energy is, is creativity. You recognizing this silent energy that comes to you and it bubbles up and it puts you into motion, into action. But if you listen to who and what you are and what you purpose given by nature, you manifested and that I call a creative process. For the night I decided to see the whole stage, everything, but feel it. And the moment I lost the feeling, I had to start all over again. From the beginning? Yes. People always been asking me, hey, what are you doing? I would like to know what you're doing. I can walk on the street and people come up to me and like one time I sit in the Central Park and I say, and somebody comes up and, oh, you sit so beautiful. It's so beautiful to see how you sit and how you... So what did I do? I sit in my own way in whichever way I manifested at that particular time. So people always ask me to give them what I have, to share with them what I have. So I started sharing and that's how I became what now you become a teacher, master, I don't know what exactly. So, <laughs> what this reminds me, you know, basically, it's definitely it could be a gyrotonic machine. All I have to do is take this one, bring it a little closer, and then I start turning it around because how the original machine have came about. I designed a pirouette machine when I was very, very young. And I wanted always to reproduce that. And in New York, walking on the street, I'm finding two revolving chairs, bar, stu uh, bar stools. It's like this, same 
only closer. So I put them next to each other and say, hey, what can you do with this thing? If I, if I put it on the floor, I can turn it around with my legs. I can turn it, but then I can turn both of them. Then I can do this and this and that. And if I am with my hands, well, definitely, you know, because I'm playing all the time, it's, oh, this moves around and around. Okay, so that's swimming motion, right? Ooh, then you can go that way. Now, of course, then they can go in opposition. So what about if I turn around and I start doing it this way? So in an instant, I have had six, seven exercises that I could do with it. And that was the beginning. Now I just how to stabilize the chairs. So I took them apart, took the top off, put them on the floor. And that's how the first piece of equipment was born. See how simple things are? Everything can talk to you if you listen. Just because the guy <laughs> that's the most important thing. thing. Come on! No! Stop! You are marching like an army. <laughs> <laughs> Relax! Don't push me, okay? Allow me to be myself. Calm. The more alive you are, the more your body is moving. Of course, it is a, a sign of health. It's health. Uh, it means energy can move through you and express itself fully. For instance, if there is a restriction or where is, there is a crossover in the spine and your energy wants to cross over and move, and you are holding your body stiff, it cannot move, it gets stopped. But if you participate, it pushes you into a spiral. Then, when the other side is moving, it pushes you to the other side of the spiral. So, did I make the spiral up? I didn't make the spiral up. The spiral made itself up, I just followed that. Yeah? When it starts moving up your spine, and you, it pulls you into this action of being up, I didn't make that up, it pulled me into that position. Then it, as it turns around and moves down, it curls you down. So I followed all of this over a period of 20 years minimum before I made it into a structure. Uh, they can follow it because it is an attraction, it is like a magnet. And once I will feel that I am not there anymore, I'll give up. Then I will uh, teach another modality. Then I will uh, be silent or who knows, I don't know the next step, but it will come. So I can't say the answer, but um, I really appreciate the universe to let me have uh, this opportunity to be with you, to be in this community. And uh, Gerotonic. And don't get serious now. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I really mean this. Uh, I know you mean yeah. it. <laughs> mm. So, finish? Yeah. Enjoy your lunch.